In entertainment news, a comedian who has made us laugh for decades is actually dealing with a serious problem once again. Our sizzling Hollywood host Stephanie Dunlap has the latest for us. So we're going to actually start out kind of on the little bit of bad news. A little bit of bad news. Uh, Chevy Chase has checked into rehab. He is going to be in a treatment center in Minnesota. This is actually the same treatment center that Robin Williams was at in 2014. Now, a rep uh, told TMZ that it is for an alcohol-related problem. But this isn't the first time that Chase has also went to rehab. He actually uh, went to rehab in 1986, and this was for painkiller addiction. But um, the rep said that he wants to be the best he can be, so I'm very happy that he's getting the help. And, you know, hopefully things will get better. Get well soon, Chevy Chase. But yeah. he is uh, filming two movies right now. One is um, already finished and wrapped. The other one is in uh, filming right now. So I don't know how production schedule is going to go for him, whether he's going to have to finish later or if they've already wrapped. That's still unclear. Yeah. But uh, get well soon, Chevy Chase. Yeah, I know the verbiage that his people were using was a tune-up uh, on his yes. alcohol problem. Mm -hmm. And so that, to me, kind of read that maybe, you know, he's he's – been dealing with this. He just kind of wants to nip it in the bud kind be of a thing. the best he can be. Yeah, so exactly. we'll see how that goes. But like you said, definitely uh, well wishes for him. But actually some kind of on the flip side, maybe some good news for another actor. Yes, Daniel Craig has been in the last four James Bond movies. Yes. And now Sony is offering him $150 million to star in the next two. Let me repeat, $150 yeah. million. Dollars. That is insane. And what's funny about this is about a year ago in October, he told Time Out London that he wanted nothing to do with yeah. it. He was saying he'd rather break this glass. He's over it. Yeah. Well, maybe $150 million has changed his mind. Well, this has got to kind of be a little jab to a lot of people that we thought might be up for the role, including uh, maybe a Taylor Swift boyfriend. Tom Hiddleston, yeah. yes, Idris Elba. Yeah, there were a lot of different people coming into play, and people didn't think that he was going to take this, especially after he said those things last year. Right. But it looks like Sony still wants him, so we'll have to wait and see. I know that there's going to be an announcement made pretty soon, so. Yeah. Well, we'll see for if, that. Like, what is the saying? Money walks kind of thing. You know, we'll see if it really does exactly. kind of woo him back to uh, mm -hmm. the franchise. If not, you know, the other people, they're going to be uh, still sitting in there. And I know some people thought that maybe dating T-Swift was hurting uh, Tom's chances of becoming right. the next 007. A lot of this, we'll see how it kind of pans out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, we do actually have some baby news. I feel like we can't do, uh, you know, entertainment news without some baby news in there. Yes, baby news. Nick Lachey and Vanessa Lachey are welcoming baby number three. They're expecting. Uh, they made the announcement in a very cute way on Twitter and Instagram. They have a photo that says, we got a new crib. And now we need a new crib. Aww. I thought that was a little funny uh, play on words there. But they got married in 2011. They have two children together, one boy and one girl. And we'll have to wait and see if this is a boy or a girl. Yeah. But congratulations to them. But part of me actually wishes that Nick Lachey and uh, Jessica Simpson were still together, my little teenage Aww. self. <laughs> but that's another story. That's, a, that's <laughs> another story. Well, uh, he, of course, was in a uh, boy band. Nick Lachey was in 98, 98 degrees. degrees. And now we've got another kind of boy band news going on. Yeah, Niall Horan from One Direction yeah. is now going solo. He has left the production company of Simon Cowell and will be going to Universal. But he's in a line of all these other stars that are from One Direction going solo like Harry Styles yeah. and Zayn Malik. But Zayn Malik is actually in the news too today because he is taking off from his tour for anxiety, mm -hmm. which I think is the reason why he left One Direction in the first place was he has very high anxiety and he has canceled his October tour. So there's Twitter following all over saying, yeah. hashtag get well soon, Zayn. Wow, that'll be interesting. And I, I did hear that that uh, removal from Niall was a little bit of a surprise for Simon Cowell. We'll see how that pans out. But mm -hmm. as he's kind of going solo, we're hearing that a huge name actually might be retiring. Yes, Little Wayne. Oh. Now, this comes to a huge shock, especially for Little Wayne fans. He took to Twitter and wrote that, you know, he felt defeated 
you know, defenselessness, like he felt um, mentally defeated. And he says, I leave gracefully and thankful. I love my fans, but I'm done. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to what this means. Is he really done? But we do know in 2014, he actually sued his label for $50 million. Yeah. And that lawsuit is still ongoing. So I wonder if it has something to do with that, whether he feels like his label, you know, isn't supporting him. And that's why He's leaving. Right. Well, we've seen a lot of the drama between him and Birdman and Cash Money. And, of course, he went on uh, stage with Drake and also made kind of another statement. So yes. we'll see what happens with Lil Wayne. A lot of people are big fans. So a lot to go over. Uh, but we even have more because if you guys want to stay up to date with Stephanie's entertainment updates, you may make sure that you follow the CW Tucson both on Facebook and Twitter. I know she's got something to tell you guys about The Bachelor also.